You know, I, I feel good. You know, he's uh, um, obviously a guy. He's t he's extremely tough. Um, um, he's played through a lot, a lot of, a lot of nicks and, and, and things here in the last uh, in the two seasons I've been with him. So um, I would expect if he's if he can go at all, he's going to be ready to go. You know, that's just the kind of player he is. Uh, I think he's day to day at this point, so um, I haven't had any updates today. But hopefully, hopefully we can get him uh, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's the goal. We thought, oh, actually, we thought it might have been a concussion. How big a relief? Fred said that wasn't the case. No. Not the joint shoulder here, but how big right. a relief? Huge, huge relief. You know, I mean, obviously, any time a guy has a, a head injury, you know, you, you, I mean, any injury, you get worried for him and everything. But the head, obviously, is something that we get concerned about, and then. You know, obviously, coming back from an injury like that, that could be that could be an extended period of time. So, um, for his sake and our sake, we were really, really happy that it wasn't had anything to do with his head. It looked like he's kind of changed his arm slot a couple of times during the second half. Was that a result? I think so. I think he was. Uh, I think he was sore. You know, and uh, again, he uh, uh, he's going to stay out there, and compete, and play. But uh, abs absolutely, uh, um, he changed. Uh, um, you know the the level of his throwing motion there a little bit. I think he was compensating for some some pain he was feeling. He obviously had a rough game with the turnovers. He was He's thrown four for five yards. So how do you think he's going? You know he's 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 disappointed like the rest of us. You know it's uh, you know I've said this before. You know you put your heart and soul into each and every week. Every game's different, and um, he had played really really well a couple weeks in a row, and. Uh, um, we were feeling really good about the plan and feeling good about him. And, um, you know, he, uh, we're a 10, 10, 10, 10 game, you know, 17, 10 game at the half. And then in the third quarter, we just um, kind of, we had a meltdown, you know, and uh, obviously uh, he contributed to that. Um, we all did contributed to that, but uh, uh, he's not, he's not happy, obviously. And, um, you know, again, the, the best thing you can do in these situations is get back on the field and practice and get ready and play a game. So hopefully we can get him back out there soon and he can, he can uh, kind of get rid of that taste in his mouth. Uh, he held the ball a few times, maybe <clears throat> seven times, and hadn't had protection. Were they just on your receivers? What was going on with that? You know, I think uh, some of them were, I think there's a little bit to go around. I think he, he could have got rid of the ball a few times. You know, I think there was um, chances to throw the ball with guys coming into windows and in open areas that he, he missed, and he'll be the first one to tell you that. And, uh, and then a couple of times, you know, we had guys with tight coverage, and, um, I think sometimes you, I think you get used to guys being wide open or whatever it is, and uh, in, in this league, sometimes they're not going to be wide open. A lot of times they're not. You got to throw them open, and you got to put the ball in the right spot. And um, I, I think that uh, he he didn't do that a few times, and um, we got too tight of coverage a couple times. And um, you know, at the end of the day, we got to get the ball out. Yes. <laughs> You know, I, I think there was a couple couple of runs we missed, but I think um, um, at the end of the day, I think uh, we didn't we didn't hold up physically like we thought we were going to. I thought South Carolina um, did a really really good job. I thought they played extremely well. They played physical. They played fast. Um, there wasn't a lot of room in there. Um, we missed a couple cuts, yes, but overall, um, I think. Uh, they were the more physical football team. They're they could be tough to run it on. They're extremely talented. They're they're you know they're well coached. Um, you know nobody's really running on them at all. Um, they're they're going to be it's going to be a huge challenge, and uh, we're going to have to get creative with some of the things we do with them. Um, you know in the pass game and in the run game. So we'll have to. Um, uh, pull out all the stops and get creative and try to try to gain advantages and gain, gain a gap here and there if we can. And um, but they're they're really talented and really well coached, and that's a that's a bad combination for their opponents. Just given what Alabama's done and the struggles from last week, just how do you convince your, your offense to win a game? Saturday? Well, uh, if we don't we don't believe we can win every week, I don't know if I want to coach them. You know, I can tell you that. I mean. Uh, I don't think there's anybody in this program that doesn't feel that we can't win every game we step into, and this is no different. I mean, um, when you're a competitor and you're an athlete, that, that really never crosses your mind. I mean, not, not anybody that I've ever coached has ever gone into a game thinking that they weren't going to win. So, um, you know, 
like I said, I hopefully hopefully we got 100% guys on board with that. I know our coaches and the, the players I met with yesterday feel that way. Yeah, well, the, yeah, the first one was just uh, just a terrible terrible play. You know, it was just bad. Um, trying to he's trying to make a play, he's throwing across his body late. Things we don't do, we don't make a blind throw. We never throw the late ball late over the middle, and he did both of those. Uh, those are those are two of our two of our rules that we have. Um, and then uh, the the strip sack fumbles, we didn't pass a twist off. You know, um, pat pass protection one on one, and then um, uh, uh, Coles. Um, turnover at the end. Um, he hitched on a throw. We're not supposed to hitch on that, so the ball was late. So if you hitch, you don't throw it. And he hitched. And again, that's a young guy uh, making a big mistake. It was, uh, I was really disappointed to have him make that mistake because other than that, he played pretty flawless, you know, uh, when he was in there. Um, so, um, but young guy making a mistake. Uh, and then the um, second play of the game was just a, a guy trying to, to move the ball from one arm to the other. He can't do that. You got to catch it and secure it. And, um, can't win the game. I mean, one of our keys to victory was no turnovers on the road, and obviously we didn't even come close to accomplishing that. So, um, it's, you know, it's addressed every day. We we harp on pro, um, turnovers in this program more than any program I've ever been in, and we'll continue to coach that way. Yeah, I want to go deeper on Cole. You said that was pretty much the only mistake he made. Can you evaluate what you saw from him? In there? Yeah, he played outstanding. Uh, he had the one big, big mistake, which is when you're the quarterback, it gets magnified, but. Loved his pocket posture, his presence. Uh, loved the way, he, uh, his accuracy. I loved the way he was moving around in the pocket. Um, took off and ran. Um, won the design run, or in, in one sort of a design run, and um, put the ball in the right spot and uh, made, made made a big throw for a touchdown and just ran the team. Was very very confident, very poised, and made was communicating very well and um, loved a lot of things he did. Loved his uh, interaction on the sidelines, his confidence and. Um, did it, like I said, without you know, you take that play out. He uh, he played pretty pretty dang well. Yeah, he had an injury in practice and, and missed a little bit, and and so we were a little cautious. But yeah, we did. Um, we got it to him a couple times, and um, um, wish we could have got it to him a couple more. But as the game got out of hand, we had to change what we we're doing a little bit. You know what I mean? And uh, um, certainly he'll be in the plans this week and uh, as we move forward. Yeah, yep, he's had a good good week or two of practice, and uh, we expect him to have. A, hopefully, if he has another good week this week, he'll get more playing time. And we were, we're starting to get to a point where we feel comfortable putting him in. And he made a nice catch, and and a, and, a, and a got hit and hang on to the ball and all those good things. So hopefully, we can see him make continue to make some steps. Yeah, they still had some starters in there uh, in the game during that time. They were still running their blitz packages. You know, they um, we saw we saw several blitzes while he was in there. So it wasn't like they just gave up. That's I think that's totally inaccurate. Um, and you know, he's a freshman playing in this league, and I don't care who he plays against. <laughs> they're pretty good. We don't get caught up like, well, that doesn't count because he's a second string player. So uh, he, we just evaluate him on what he did and how he did it, and. Um, you know, obviously it wasn't in the first quarter. Um, I know that, but uh, the guy, the guy can't control that. He can control how he plays when he goes in there, and he did a, he did a really good job. And um, you know, it's something for him to build on, and um, you know, it's going to pay dividends as he goes into his career that he's getting into games like that and situations like that, having to run a two-minute drill, having to be coming out on his own one-yard line and move the ball out, having to throw an interception and come back on the field, and how do you respond in that situation? You know, all those things. Um, you can't get those sitting in a, in a meeting room. All those experiences, those, those ex the, the pressure, the, the communication, the, the bouncing back, the adversity, those are all things that come from playing the game. So every rep that he, that he gets, in my opinion, is an investment on his future. So the first half, when you guys had short yards, you didn't, uh, you didn't put the ball into the scheme. Was that just something more about <coughs> Carolina no, we just, you know, obviously we don't want to become a team that just every time we're in short yards we get into one thing. We want to obviously stay balanced and stay multiple, and 
Um, we're going to continue to use different personnel groupings in all those situations. I think uh, I can't speak for him, but I think for any quarterback, at it, a certain point, yeah, I think it does. Um, I haven't seen that with Austin. I've seen a guy that's just courageous and tough and hangs in there. I mean, some of those hits are on him because he won't throw the ball away because he's trying to make a play all the time. And again, that's there's a fine line there as a quarterback coach of um, coaching that out of guys. You know what I mean? There's you don't want to take their their competitiveness away and their ability to want to make every play last. But he does have to um, get smarter in the fact that when pl plays aren't there, he needs to diagnose that a little bit sooner, a tick or two sooner, and let, get the ball out of his hands and throw it away. And I think he can eliminate some of those hits he's taken. And from a personnel standpoint about Bama, I think a couple of linebackers have been hurt. Sean Hand got hurt. I, I don't know if they're coming back. But what do you see from? Their They're still very, very good. I mean, uh, all the guys I see, even when early in the se earlier in the season when all those guys were healthy, their backups, these guys were all playing, and they play at a very high level. Um, they've got they've got a, t a ton of depth. They've got pass rushers. They've got D tackles that play their gaps uh, very, very well and don't get moved. They've got outstanding guys in the secondary. They're very well coached. They're very multiple in what they do and the coverages that they uh, they they show you. So um, there's. You know, to me, there's there's not a lot of drop off. I'm, you know, I know that the hand is an outstanding player, um, but they've got other ones too. I mean, 94s in there, in 69, and um, there's a bunch of them. You know, they're they're very very talented. 33s been and 30s been very very. Both those guys been very impressive, um, moving around. Um, secondary, like I said, is extremely well coached and very physical. They're just a physical team. They're big, lower body guys that. Uh, play with great power and don't get moved around a lot, and uh, they're not out of position very often. Pardon me? He played well when he was in there. He made a big catch in traffic, got hit. You know, that was encouraging. He had a good week of practice, and um, hopefully this can springboard him ahead and, and get, him, get him some more, more time. He needs to have another good week this week, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> yes, they're a very physical group. I mean, I think that's kind of their one of their trademarks. I think Coach Saban and his their defensive staff does a great job of, um, you know, those guys don't give you – there's not a lot of free throws. You don't get a lot of free yards, if you will, you know, um, with off coverages and, and things like that. you got to earn everything you get. Um, they do – they're tremendously physical. They're physical in the, in the run game. They're physical on bubbles and, and wide receiver screens. And then, obviously, um, when you're running routes, you got to do a good job of – uh, of, of releasing and getting off uh, not only um, off the line but off of your second level releases too off, off some of their nickel guys and things like that. They do, a, they do a really good job. Thanks, everybody.